Hello guys and welcome back to Zola's F Free. It is Sunday, March 19th of 2023. And well, as you can clearly see, the St. Patrick's Day party is gone. And it only took around, I want to say, 30 to 40 minutes to uh, complete. Um, yeah, I know. Yeah, remember what I said? It was a small party. So it wasn't going to really take that long. And I did that around, like, I want to say, like, 12 p.m. EST. Now, I know what you're thinking. It's, like, exactly eight hours later. I mean, look at this. See? 8 p.m. Assuming we can pull it up here. There we go. Holy frick. Took a second. Yeah, it's 8 p.m. Now, wait. Why is it exactly eight hours later if it only took, like, an hour? Uh, I just want to remind you all. Uh, we had a catalog. The event board got updated. And, uh, two rooms got messed up. Plus a book. Now also though, I did take a few hours off just to do whatever else I wanted. <clears throat> hint, hint. <clears throat> this game. And uh, just some other random Wii games. Um, anyway, that's besides the point. Uh, let's jump into it by automatically going over to the book. Good luck in multiverse. Yeah, we were just one letter away. From uh, getting that title, it couldn't fit, unfortunately. Hey everyone, I feel we're back on track with updates now. Hopefully. Next up is Operation Multiverse. The last mission event until mid-August. Same for Zola's Up 2. Okay, technically, the next mission base for, that, uh, for ZL2 after Operation Multiverse technically takes place in early August. But in general, it's technically the last mission-based event. Um, in both labs, just until August, just alone. Yep. So, yeah. I know, we get, like, a good, uh... <laughs> Technically, Operation to Multiverse ends in April. Like, the, um, beginning of April, like, April 6th. Well, for here, it's April 2nd. Because, of course, Sunday updates. But, uh... Yeah. Anyway. And even though we're halfway through March... The catalog. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. It, we will not do this again. I hope. I do actually hope that, um. Hold on. Sorry. Don't know what the. Don't know what the heck was going on there. Anyway. Um. Yeah, uh, next catalog will hopefully be on April 2nd when the Operation Multiverse concludes. Upcoming events, March 26th, Operation Multiverse Part 2 for construction. Yep, the second part of construction begins for Operation Multiverse. The first part of construction, which I'll show you very soon, actually right after we're done with the book here. Um, yeah, I'll show you that. Anyway, March 30th. Even though that's a Thursday, uh, Operation Multiverse begins because it'll be the second half of Operation Multiverse in ZL2, but the second half coincides with ZL3. Remember when Operation Multiverse was originally a ZL2 exclusive and then we realized merging them with the set with the third lab made more sense? Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, it actually does make sense. I mean, it's the Zola's Lab multiverse we're going into. You have to include here, too. And especially since this is all based off of space. Literally. Have you not noticed over the last five years? This is literally space. This makes total sense. Or not. I don't know. But it makes sense to include both labs. Anyway, April 2nd. Operation Multiverse ends plus April 2023 catalog. See, I told you I was not joking about that. We are actually going to hope to God actually release the catalog on that day. That will be uh, pretty sweet to see. Oh, yeah. I should have mentioned this to you. Alternate Evil Sheet Leader messed up the library and clothes shop in preparation of, for Operation Multiverse. But next time, it'll get even worse by Mr. Steve. As usual, this book is already in the library, so yeah, we could just throw it out. Speaking of those messed up rooms, let's tour them now, because, uh, yeah, I kind of want to get them over with for the rest of the video. 
Alright, yep, you can clearly see the entire lab is back to normal, and yep, you can already see exactly what rooms got messed up. Yeah, it just got straight up dark in here. And very... decolored. <clears throat> Same thing applies in the clothes shop. Yeah, this just got straight up messed up. What the frick happened here? Yeah, this just got messed up big time. Holy frick, man. Yeah, everything's, uh... <laughs> There's like almost no color in here. That's actually serious. You can clearly see outside of the walls and floors and ceiling, there is no color in here. It is just straight up removed. Okay, and I guess also the chest too, but you, you get the point. Speaking of which, this used to say present right here, but now it says March 2023. And that's because by the next time, we will have a book right here for March 26th, and then on March 30th, for the last book of March, we will have the last book in here. And then, starting April 2nd, we will have to make a third chest right where this light is. Not, like, right where it is, just, like, right in front of it. And then, who knows how many books it'll take us to get through that chest. Probably a good, maybe, like, three months, if you know, um, <clears throat> we are, uh, consistent here. That's a common thing, to go away from this world for a decent amount of times. But hopefully this year, we're consistent. I mean, look how freaking consistent we have been since this year started. Except for the takeover, of course. You can still thank me for that. Yeah, for some reason, I'm still not over that nonsense. But I should be by now, honestly. Which, I think I am. I think I've just truly accepted my fate at that point <laughs> with that, and thankfully I have. Now, why did I head down here, even though there's absolutely nothing here? Gotcha! There is something down here! Yep, this was literally put up, like, literally right before recording this video. Not a joke, guys. Like, legit right before hitting record on this video. Um... Yep, I made this. <laughs> this attack board sure won't be getting updated for a good while after this. I'll tell you that. Of course, the map is back to normal as usual. So that's always nice. And that's all that needs to be said down here. Where the frick is HQ Secretary, by the way? Oh, she must be in ZL2. Because, of course... That's the more important world for Operation Multiverse, because it used to be a ZL2 exclusive for the longest time. It, it, like, it, like, it was actually. It was a ZL2 exclusive for the longest time, Operation Multiverse. And then we realized the lab, the third lab made more sense, uh, just to merge both of them together. Anyway, uh, yeah, this room just got straight up dark. And, uh, good news. We technically do have to come in here anyway, because we have a catalog. In a very dark room like this. Look how freaking creepy and unsettling this looks. Dear God. What did he do? This is freaking insane. Holy frick. This is nuts. This is absolutely freaking nuts. Everything's just very unsettling and creepy here now. Oh, well, at least there's one thing. We do have a catalog. That's at least something good. Clothing catalog, March 2023. Multiverse theme. Yeah, because this catalog came out late, there's no St. Patrick's Day items. And also because it came out after St. Patrick's Day alone, so what's even the point? Some of these are repeat items, such as the Universe Hat and the Universe Banner. But other items, such as the Universe Glasses, the Meteor Costume, the Universe Background and Multiverse Background are all new items. Items that are not new include the Zero Gravity Shoes and the Evil Sheet Leader Tracker. So, yeah, combining with old and new items. Mostly, hopefully, new items. Thank God. Oh, 
was not meant to reopen that. Let's put that back. And uh, believe it or not, soon enough, we might, uh, hold on. How long is it going to take us to get food all this? Oh, we are far from done. That's right, we've released like almost no catalogs here. Right. I keep forgetting that we released like almost no catalogs here. Like, just at all. We, we straight up released almost no catalogs here. But March 2023 should hopefully, or just 2023 in general, should hopefully put an end to not releasing that many catalogs. I do have one last update for you, and it regards Snowland, but actually mainly the lab history room. Dear God, it feels so good to have this room back to the way it should be. Except for the fact that that is still purple. Yeah, that was not supposed to be that way. Oh, that's still purple too, I see. Let's change that. Much better. Okay, I do have a reason as to why I'm back here, I promise. I Like, I'm actually serious, I do promise there's actually a good reason. And that is because this has been updated. You're welcome. Okay, technically we didn't have a Pi Day party, but I'll leave it there for why not. All right, so the schedule got updated. This is what took me the longest. So yeah, if you were curious. Yep, that is what took me the longest here, is the schedule. Anyway, uh, that is besides the point. Actually, there is a point to this. So, what's different? Well, you can clearly see where the Winter Lulo used to be was replaced by Operation Zolaslav 2023. I didn't put part one, because of course, <clears throat> this was the ZL3 part of it. So, what was the point? Of course, after we had St. Patrick's Day. Anyway, Easter egg hunt, uh, that is still a thing on April 9th in like three weeks and then what's new is celebration of spring yeah originally this was not planned it will be held a week after the earth day party and so april 30th through may 7th and then just two weeks after you can thank cool get 33 for this one yep the surprise party 2023, which will be May 21st through June 4th. And yes, there will be a Memorial Day party halfway through the event. <clears throat> May 28th through 29th. Just thought I'd bring that up. Of course, we still have Dream Realms on the 25th, but fun fact about the summer party, that comes one week prior. It has been, choose, it has been changed from June 4th to the 11th, to June 18th through the 25th. The reason is purposely because the surprise party would be ending the day it would have originally happened. And we need a few weeks to just prepare for those two parties. Dream Realms is still going to be from June 25th through July 2nd. And then we'll still have the 4th of July party right after that on July 2nd through 9th. And then of course Water Party is still July 23rd through August 6th. And then we still have the Elemental Party from August 20th to September 3rd. But what is new is that the Celebration of Fall is just straight up gone. It has been replaced by the Prehistoric Party 2023. Now I know what you're probably all thinking. Wasn't that originally the November Party? It sure was. For the longest time actually. Well that was at least after I planned the Festival of Lights over here. Which is back to being the November event. Anyway, uh, wouldn't that make the uh, <clears throat> fifth part of Operation Zolza Part 1 completely irrelevant now? Considering uh, that's no longer the time frame? I know I brought that up to Cool Cat 33 earlier in time, but the point is... Yeah, I just realized that after uh, he changed it. But you know what? Maybe this is for the better. You know why? So November can finally be mission free! Holy frick, yes! 
I would have said that if he didn't decide to put the war event right after the Halloween party. Can we chill? <laughs> I, I, I thought I'd just bring that up real quick. So, uh, purposely, yeah, that's something. Oh, yeah. And because this year will be the five-year anniversary um, since this happened, I thought I'd also commemorate the fact that we would also have the Halloween Fair held not just for its five-year anniversary since the last time it was held like this, but also it's kind of making a little bit of sense to celebrate ZL3's five-year anniversary since it turned into, of course, you know, all this space theme and stuff. <clears throat> November 9th. And that leads to our next one, November 9th, which is technically a Thursday, but I will still make a ZL3 video that day. It will be a celebration of the five year anniversary of since ZL3 turned into the space theme. Ultimately, the snowy tundra version of ZL3 ultimately stopped loading just two days before Halloween in 2018, forcing us to shut it down. I shut it down on November 9th, exactly three months after it was created, and ultimately created, well, the world we're in right now, just immediately after that. And that's why we're going to celebrate on that very day, November 9th, 2023, for just one day, and then it'll just be gone immediately after the day after. Festival of Lights! It was originally planned. And then Prehistoric Party took its place for a bit. And then it got changed back to this. I'm curious if I should still keep it a week long or not. The problem is though, if I do start it November 19th, that would only give us like one week of downtime after the war. I'm gonna change it to the 26th to give us a little bit of downtime. So you're saying we're still really holding that war, aren't we? Okay. I'm just only one curious if that was actually legit or not. And then, of course, obviously, Christmas event is two weeks after the Festival of Lights ends, which obviously is December 17th through the 31st, as you, as I previously explained back in um, January. But, yeah, there's the updated schedule. Most of this is the same, because we didn't really change much. Now, obviously, there's the updated logos for all of these set events. Okay, I guess the only one I didn't put in here was the surprise one because I guess I forgot. Oh! Let me talk about this. This was the original design for the Zolzat 36th anniversary hat and I just never ended up using it because I thought I had gotten rid of it and made a new design, which I did. This was the original design fun fact right here for the anniversary hat for ZL3. And again, I just ended up never using it for some reason. I guess I just forgot to come back down here and find it. But that's just another little fun fact to just bring up. And well, that's it for this video. Like and subscribe if you all enjoyed this episode. And I will catch you all again next Sunday on March 26th for part two of the construction for Operation Multiverse. And then just four days later for the actual event itself. With that being said... I'll catch you all in the next one. See you then. Okay, I'm not surprised that I'm still the only one here. Where did everyone go, by the way? Ah, there's everyone. Nice.